Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, in which we are playing with the Gross Deutscher Bund mod. I'm Herr Mokolover, of course. And right now, I think we're doing pretty darn well. Uh, it is January 6th, 1941, a great year for everyone, but let's go ahead and read another focus, shall we? Let's go ahead and do the Gottenting, Gottingen Project. Nuclear reactors. Hmm, we need more than 300 civilian factories. Wow, we can get a 7th research lot, holy cow. Einstein, Oppenheimer, Bert, Beta, Bonn, and Bo joined Heisenberg and Weizsäcker to con constitute the research group tasked with developing the atom bomb as part of the Iran project. A secret undertaking is nicknamed after the formerly leading University of Physics of Göttingen. Hope I'm saying that right, but regardless, you and me here and our allies are all having a good old time waiting to invade the good old USSR. Don't we love it? I think we do. And I guess I'm sending my light tanks up to here to hop out with the fins because, well, they're probably going to get really, really whacked up there. But that's all right. We'll give us some more time. Get some more fuel. I mean, last time we took out Spain. We took out these guys over here. The Brits are down here doing stuff. I can't really be too bothered to move around too much. I just want to kill the Soviets at this point. I hope you guys are having a good day. we got a couple comments to go through as well in which well, I just really want to kill the Soviets off. I'll be honest. These guys, I mean, yesterday, the pocket panzers. Good lord. They did so incredibly well. I am so pleased with these guys. I love my pocket panzerinos. Uh, and we can go ahead and start cutting some of these divisions off down here too. That's fine. Um, we'll keep it at eight, basically. Keep it at two at a time. That's totally fine with me. Ooh. Nice. And let's go and do some backhand blow. We like blowing in the backhand. Hmm. It's kind of weird, but whatever. All right. And instead of making more divisions, we want bigger, better divisions. And probably get some logistics companies, too, maybe. Especially for these 40 combat widths. Not a bad idea. They do have one more slot here, so. Uh, a couple comments, though. First of all, invite America to the faction. That was one of the comments. Get America into the faction. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, we can eventually, if they do, I think, go to war with somebody else. If the Giants awaken, they'd be at war with Japan. So, which, actually, I'll talk about it a little bit more as well. Oh, all the following must be true. Oh, actually, hmm. They both have to be a war in which we can invite them to the faction. Okay. Uh, let's do Norsk Hydro. The Norwegian hydro hydroelectric company owns the only heavy water plant in Europe. They produce heavy water as a byproduct of artificial fertilizer. Heavy water should be, would prove beneficial for the Göttingen project as it would greatly improve our nuclear reactor efforts. Heavy water can be used as a moderator to slow down the neutrons in the water or the reactor itself, enhancing the fission chance. We must secure a steady supply. And right now, I've got a cup of not coffee, but some uh, hibiscus pineapple tea, I believe, something like that. Subbies. Mm, we could do that, but light cruiser stuff. Yeah. Very nice. Even though we have no more naval XP right now, and that's okay. Alright, so are the guys down here? Yes, they are. Let's go ahead and call them the fins. This is probably actually a really bad idea, but we'll see what happens. Guys, please. I sent you up there for a reason. Please. Please respond. But regardless, whatever. Uh, actually, you guys can do anything. There you go. A lot of guys over here. Lots and lots of guys. Looks like we're pretty positive on that. Now the comment from yesterday says, go for the natural borders and don't forget Poznan. I was thinking about that, actually. With the natural borders and such, you know what? If I continue to give these guys more territory out here, like, you know what? Maybe we'll just give them the Baltics. You can have all the Baltics in exchange. I will take Poznan, Nissen. I think that might make it a little, a little nicer, you know? Zaoli. Yeah. That actually would make it quite a bit nicer, actually. Even if you took Lutz, might not be bad, but that might be a bit too much. We'll see. I definitely want to just, you know, do things to make it look a little nicer, just in general. So. I'm really disappointed that the Poles, or not the Poles, the Finns don't want to come into the war. Oh, 20% convoy rating? Oh, this I normally choose this one, but if you get this, eh, I'm always convoy rating anyway, so. Not bad. And we're building a lot more stuff up. Let's go ahead and put some more civilian factories down, so. Because of our one focus there, so there you go. Thank you. More dockyards. Someone did recommend we build more dockyards, which, as you can tell, we are, so. Not bad. How about Castle Ring? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Are we doing well against these guys or not? And I don't want to throw my tanks down here just because their supply is probably going to be very bad, but whatever. Press H on selected divisions to stop them. French operative captured. Huh. So we did this. We press H. It stops them. Thank you. I should realize that the stop button is just shortcut, shortcut H. All right. Uh, end of a new beginning mod when? Uh, really, I've been recommended that quite a few times already. I have my eye on it. I'm really just waiting for the Steam version, the Steam version to get, you know, an update. Like, that's really what I'm waiting for. 
I'm sure you can get on the GitHub, but then I have to move things around, and that's not, at least in my mind, a lot of fun. <laughs> so, I really just want the Steam version to get updated. Finland. Finland. Buddy. Dudes. Guys. I will literally kick you out of the faction if you do not come into the war. Don't make me act like the AI here. God dang it. I wasted time sending you guys up north, and then they just refuse to do anything? Yeah, Finns... Hmm... We gotta teach them a lesson. There you go. Cool. Alright, next up we should actually have this done. Yep, I thought so. Sankt Joachimstal. Joachimstal. The ore-rich mountains of Sudetenland yield one more special gem. The village of St. Joachim's Valley contains uranite deposits. Together with the uranium mines of the Congo, it's currently the major source of uranium. Uranium is critical for the development of nuclear bombs, as well as the construction of nuclear reactors. We must expand mining operations in the area to source large quantities of it. Nice. Let's get a little nuclear. We could do that, but I don't see... Alright then, atomic research. I love... All you need to do is three simple steps and you can have nuclear bombs. Boy 4 makes it a little too easy for that. At least in my opinion, but that's alright. Well, this should do... This should make it more difficult to get bombs, but make it much more deadly. Or has... Like, it'll actually reduce way more war support, stability, and stuff like that. Like, I think that would be probably more balanced. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I wonder if they'll ever do that. But I'm really considering taking out Finland right... All right, then. So let's go to the, the Japanese declared war on the Philippines, which another combo from yesterday was: if Japan attacks the USA, we might be able to get their get them into our alliance. Well, we might just be able to. So we shall see what. Hello. Oh, there's just oh, that's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Oh, we have the cipher done. Well, we might just try a general attack. I don't think that'd be very good for us, but we could try. You know. Um, you guys go there. Oh, the tanks have literally just arrived here. Wow. Improved media. Man, we were researching so fast. So fast. Holy cow. You know what? I don't mind taking out Japan. Yeah, why not? Japan's okay with me. I'll take them out. Why not? Passive defense? Why not? I kind of wish it was a mod. It would just, like, if you don't really care about intelligence agency self and you wanted to you just get all of it done anyways, I wish it was a mod that just says, okay, whenever it's available, we're just going to go. If you click this button, it'll just start auto doing, like, upgrades for intelligence agency. I wish it was a mod like that. That'd make it a lot easier, a lot more smooth. For, you know, everyone. That's just because I'm lazy. Because <laughs> I do it every campaign, and some I don't really use it too much. I mean, I do it, like, once I'm done with everything else, but... I don't know. It's just, like... It's an afterthought. It's really not super necessary to do well in the game. But... It is what it is, you know? Now, hold on, guys. Hold on. Don't, don't attack yet. There you go. Oh, you actually won. Nice. I wonder if we can encircle Minsk. I want to get those tanks out of there or whatever. And, oh wow, they're all splitting up. It's fine with me. Let them split up. Let, me, let them split up. It is April, so... Uh, do we not have any other soldiers in there? Hmm. Man, they take forever to leave. Wow. And then... Fallback lines. We've seen the role speed plays in modern warfare recently. We must prepare strong fortifications that our troops can retreat to in order to regroup if we get pushed back too much. We should use the larger rivers to our advantage and prepare the bridges with hollow spaces. Nice. Yes, yeah, seriously, we're definitely going to need some uh, logistic companies after this. Tanks, you did a great job before. You can do it again, right, Von Munstein? Come on. I even gave these guys anti-tank pierce, uh, uh, anti-tank to put it in their line, so. Not bad, not bad. Wait, didn't, did we already win and they came back or something? There you go. There you go, tanky boys, good job. And thank you to the person who recommended me pressing H instead. That's quite a bit nicer. Oh, actually, we want more fuel. Uh, Iran, Iran, I love Iran. Iran has never done anything bad in the history of Iran. Don't quote me on that one. There you go. Someone got that way too. Because now I'm going to immediately assault this area too. 
And Richie. Oh, infantry expert. Yes. Let us about the immediate battle. Von Munstein. Anything else? Yes, finally. Panzer expert. Yes. More defense. Even the motorized might be better for that one. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Uh, any other soldiers? Yeah. Very good. Not bad. Construction four is pretty yummy, yummy, yummy. Grab some of that too. What's going on up here? Or down here? Oh, yeah, that's all right. Come on, infantry, lead the way, lead the way. Get your butts in there. Keep one guy home, just so you can defend and you don't get encircled. Come on, and we did it. Hey, good, hey, they did it at the same time. Nice job, boys. Nice job. We've circled seven plus seven is usually 14, 15 divisions. 16, 17 divisions if those guys really go bye bye. Not bad. Divisions were stationary. I know supplies are right, really, really garbage right now. <sighs> Another tank division. And these guys are 40 combo if I remember correctly. Nice. Head on over there, my boys. There you go. You're done. Yep, logistics have to be next. They just have to be. Oh, do not let them get in there. Why is this not going up? What is going on? Anything else we should do around here? Uh, eh, go do this guy too. That's good. Don't need fighters? Yeah, you got some fighters, Bulgaria. Fallback lines. Japan still wants to go to war with us. It's fine. Order line. Elba line. Close the gap. And eh, we're kind of okay. The Stetten stockpile. We should create large stockpiles of different ores in Stetten or Stetten in case our supplies from the north gets too jeopardized. Additionally, we will set up recycle factories that can melt out old or unused equipment if need be. Stetten is the perfect spot as it lies directly next to the Oda River. Bulgaria accepted our donation. The Bulgarian Bulgaria ADJ High Commanders gladly accepted our proposal on Nikola Mushanov. As personally thanked to the donation of our aircraft, seeing that the relationship between Gross Deutsche Bund and Bulgaria is becoming stronger, more prosperous, and mutually beneficial. Good. Who knew that the Germans would eventually send planes in the middle of the war against the good old uh, Soviet Union boyos? Uh, cluster support, duplicate both. I like both. Both of you all go right there. And there you go. Not batterinos. <sighs> They'll die eventually. They always do. Ooh, dual purpose. Like, I'll be honest, like, most campaigns, like, w Germany isn't really ready for a big old naval war. Because we have so many research slots, uh, we've been able to build up a pretty good navy, I would say, so far. Like, oh, we can actually upgrade BSC too. That's nice. But, without going to war with Britain, and even America, maybe, to a degree, the need to build ships is drastically less. Like, it's drastically less, in my opinion. But that's okay, because we still might go to war with the Japanese, so. It is what it is. Alright, let's let our boys get all around. Did I say I was going to. I keep saying I need more logistic companies, but I refuse to do it. What's wrong with me? I'm trying to put down a lot of resistance, too, but still. Alright, so I'm going to send you guys out of here, because the supply is just, just really not good. Uh, we'll come down here then. Let's have a good time in the mountains, right? N mountains are full of supply, for especially for tanks, right? Uh, whatever, I don't care, Turkey. I don't care. I really don't care. You better join our faction, though. Oh, more divisions, not bad. At this point, I don't even want to be bothered with it. There you go. I love using the tanks. I just want to use my tanks all the time now. I do feel like we should... I want to say no for now. I'm going to say no for now. Oh god, supplies over there is really bad. Um, give them about five seconds before I do anything. Five. Uh, that's five seconds. Good enough. Because there's so many allies here that I don't really care about what happens. So, There you go. Force the attack. Force them through. Ooh, Balkans is looking a little kind of weak there, huh?
Oh, the stock buyers. How about some tungsten? We should expand our factories process and store more larger quantities of tungsten. I, how many tungsten? I, I just I click and read. That's all I do. Oh, get more naval bases. Um, yeah, not bad. Extensive compensation. All right. Financing investments. Eh, it's not really great, but that's just because Turkey is Turkey. What do you expect? And I would like to break over the river if possible, so... Ooh, we actually sunk some ships. Look, look at that. Ah, most submarinos go bye-bye. You guys actually win here. That's all I want you to do next. That's all I want you to do because you guys are going to go right this way. So they can't move. Uh, 70, if you force the attack, you might actually be able to do very well. Oh, you guys help out. Help out, help out, help out. There you go. That's what we needed. That little bit more of a push. That little extra oomph. Ooh, that's an allied thingamabob. That's not good. Hey, there goes some battleships. And some carrier. Yeah, carrier planes. Nice. Hey, we got that over there. That's nice. A lot he's got to fall, son. Backhand blow and finish our land auction with Modern Blitzkrieg. Nice. Oh, you guys can up here in two. It's only six divisions I want to kill off, which isn't very much, but whatever. Uh, not bad. 1.6. That's not bad. Come on. Get in there. Go, go, go. Five, six. Get up a six. Nope, nope. Oh, oop. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Improved light batteries ain't bad. So that's all good. I'm not doing heavy capital ships like that one. This campaign. Let's go ahead and grab some. This would be nice. And eh, I'll grab it anyways. Nope, 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 nope. I almost forgot. There we go. Almost forgot. Woo! They really don't want to lose Galatina, do they? Then again, I probably wouldn't want to either. Uh, we haven't chosen anyone else here, so... Get more air XP, I guess. After Tungsten, we'll do Special Forces. We should, over should overthink the role of our Special Forces. The boon is so many different terrains that we should broaden the program to get more s s situationally adept troops. Yeah, situationally adept troops. Force it. Come on. Kill them off. Oh my goodness, that's so bad. At this point, I'm just, I just want to do a general attack. I just really want to do a general attack. We might just do a general attack. We probably will do a general attack. They have a lot of manpower. I'm sure they got plenty of stuff in stockpile. Plenty of guns. If we were to do this and then this at the same time, would we be able to win? Maybe. But it might help if we do that too. Alright, so we finally did logistics. What's on my lighting divisions? Oh, we got logistics and maybe maintenance. Maybe that. That could be pretty good. Now this will help the initial assaults with more breakthrough. Now obviously we won't be successful everywhere, but that's alright. You guys should have won this battle a long, 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 long time ago. Well, we are pushing in slowly. To compensate, like I said earlier, to compensate Poland, because I want these territories, I will give them more of Belarus or whatever. Alright, so that's quite a few losses. Our losses are just jumping up. Their losses are not jumping up as high. That's okay. My goodness. Monstein. We can even encircle them. Come on, man. Seriously. Get in there. Kill them off. You took way too long, Monstein. Pathetic. It's a disgrace on his little record here. You know, I'm not even going to use you then. Get out of here. You cost me too much. Um, Oh, these guys are doing stuff down here. I'm not really interested in going down there, though. Alright, Finland. It's do or die time. Either come into the war or... I will kick you out. I will literally kick you out now if I have to. I'm not joining the Japanese war yet. Nope. Oh, do we have any extra ships though? Not bad, not bad. Throw them right there if you can. Oh, we don't have enough naval XP for this. I really want them for lots of sub anti sub stuff, so. I'm not even going to bother with it yet then. We lost half a million, 520... Oh, we're doing better on this too, so... The main goal is to get rid of all the guns. 
Actually, they have. They are eleven thousand out. Now they have only eleven thousand. Not bad. Not bad. 11, 12, 13,000. Two hundred fifty-six divisions, fifty-five divisions. Not bad. Um, we're making we're making some serious gains in some areas. Other areas, not so much. And they are removing some of the soldiers from the front, which is kind of okay with us. How's the air battle? Oh, it's it's good. It's good. It is definitely bueno. Hmm. No other planes in stockpile, huh? Do we need that many more planes? Fighters? No, we got plenty of fighters. Uh, let's see. Maybe, oh, we won't deploy them there. We'll put them up here. And then make sure every, every group's got even more planes just in case. There you go, that should definitely help out at least a little bit more, even though we're using more fuel, that's alright. Any upgrades? Friedrich? Nothing? No. Any generals themselves? I'm mostly looking for infantry experts, so. Improvisation experts, okay, don't really need that right now. Oh, let's go and scavenger because we can. Get moving, boys. Get out of there. You're costing us too much supply. Usually, I really don't want to attack with infantry, but it is just what it is. And also, online, Bundesflotte. The first Bundesflotte was a proposal to create the fleet for the first boon in 1865, which failed to become reality since the German German War of 1866 ended the First Confederation. Maybe this time we can bring this plan to fruition the German German War. Those are Prussian, Austro Prussian Brothers War or something like that? I'm pretty sure it was something like that. We've lost 600,000 versus, well, let's see, 1.4 million is not bad. Oh man, if we could cut them off here, that'd be so good. And we have. Sometimes you just gotta let infantry do what infantry wants to do. Go right on in. All those soldiers have been trapped. Uh, about 10 ish there. 15, 20 ish. Not bad. Oh, and some guys, four divisions tra trapped right here too. Yeah, supplies are actually really, really bad for us right now. Holy cow. Uh, Emin Ballman. Not Emin Gall, Ring, but Ballman. Lone Wolf. Uh, we'll do Lone Wolf just because if we had command power, oh, that's not too bad. Destroyers. There we go. Because this group is pretty good. They got 20 screens for that many. That's pretty awesome, actually. You guys have 17 for two. That's not too bad. And then you guys have four, but you need way more screens, so. How's the Japanese doing, actually? Uh, they're still struggling against China, which is good. And we're still struggling against these guys, too, so. We need way more support equipment and light tanks. Support equipment and light tanks. Oh, we're building a lot of roads, huh? Alright, that's fine, whatever. There you go. Not bad. Hey, look at that. Nice. You joined the Jap war against the Japanese, but not against the Soviets. Like, what? what, what what's wrong with you? Lost almost 700,000. If we lose about a million to, like, three million, I, I, I don't want to say that's too bad. At this point, I can't imagine them holding on to that many more guns. Armored cars, not too bad. Yep, infantry equipment's completely out. They are out of supplies. We have bled their stockpiles dry. Not their manpower, though, which is still more than enough on... What was that, service by requirement? Not bad. Not bad. We should have them done, I want to say relatively soon, but... And not too much of a distance. time. Let's grab some landing craft, finally. That'd be good. And let's come back over here for 70, 41 stuff. Extraction. That'd be good. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely want better subs. Three. That's nice, but we don't have enough. Just don't have enough army XP. Or naval XP, I should say. It's naval XP. Quarter of a million. Three quarters of a million of them died. But with them not being able to reinforce their lines, I mean, it's 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 going to be GG for them. What? Oh, you're still you're moving through mountains. That makes sense. Uh, anyone else? It's getting laggy as we're trying to fight, 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 fight. Get some of this, that'd be fine. Who dares wins, you know. Mm -hmm. Build more ships. That was a, I might have already said that earlier. Uh, that was a comment from the last video. Um, yeah, I will. I eventually will. Guns and infantry equipment. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the logistic companies, I'll be honest. Just because fighting through here is going to be really bad. 
excuse me, for supplies. And as you can already tell, it is pretty bad already, so. Blindus Flota. And distinct branches, mountaineers. Ooh, that's not bad. More max entrenchment. Invest in new dockyards, why not? The Weimar Republic did not have a large fleet to begin with, and the Civil War has diminished the fleet even further. Austria, the fifth largest navy at the beginning of the First World War, but was landlocked ever since and had no reason to sustain its navy. So, pretty much, we had to rebuild the entire fleet from scratch. We should enable the right companies to do so. And we're already on extensive conscription. We're no longer mobilizing anymore, but I think we're okay where we're at right now. Uh, we can do this just because... Well, I want more stability. War bonds would not be bad. War propaganda is okay. Demand military access to Bulgaria? I mean, they're part of our alliance, so I think they already gave it to us, so I'm not too worried about that. Just convoys have been sunk, which is nice. Yeah, let them go, let them rip. And let's go do some of this. You can pause on this stuff, that's fine. I mean, it's definitely slow going. And we've lost about 800,000 versus, well, 2.1 million. That was a 2 to 1 ratio, which is nice. Uh, we'll stop them in the, the relatively soon because, well, we need to get some more planning going, so. That'll be good. In two weeks, we'll have logistic companies. Uh, you know, oh, we got the carrier done, too. Nice. I'll throw you guys over here, probably, because that makes it a little bit nicer. Once we're done with the battle, of course. It's October 1st, 1941. Look at that. All of you go ahead and go home. Three heavy cruisers, a battleship, and a carrier. That's actually not too bad. He Evan Baum. Bo Boeim? Not Bauman. Why did I say? I'm pretty sure I said Bauman earlier. It's Boeim. Boeim. Boom. Boom. Boeim. Something like that. We'll do enemy fleet size just because we can hurt them. If we need to retreat too, that's not bad to get either. And donuts. Well. Oh, there we go. I like this. Uh, Lancer. I don't know which one's better. 15% less torpedo reveal chance or just 25% more screen penetration? I'm going to go with the Lancer. Whenever we get enough command power for that. So, yeah, Where are you guys at, actually? You guys are up. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll have you guys go, and go home and repair for now. I mean, they're not great ships. They're really not, but whatever. Ah, finally, Logistics 1. Let's grab Logistics 2 immediately. Alright, so the ones that are 40 already, just go and throw this on there. I don't care how much support equipment we're actually out right now. We need them. And you will be put to the top of the food chain. How many guns we got? 80,000. Um, there you go. Let's go to 50. Way more of this stuff. And we have more than enough supplies to do so. Man, I said we were going to stop. And maybe we should stop because we're approaching a million casualties. But at this rate, I mean... They've, we've got like 40 divisions maybe-ish. All they have left are armored cars in reserve and two scout planes. So I guess you know what? Screw it. We're not going to stop. Ain't gonna stop. Actually, here's an opening here. There you go. Go right on ahead. And just in case, Panzers. Here you go. Gonna ruin your armor, but I don't. As you can tell, I don't really care about the armor too much. Screw it, you guys. Here's some logistics companies too. Um, anything else? These guys... I don't know if I may have this that many divisions that use Mountaineers. There you go. We can get some more uh, army XP by doing that. Garrison's not too bad. They need military police, though. We should really get some military police. Yep. I like the green. A lot of green is nice. Steiner. Thank you. And anything else? Nope. Very good. Yeah, at this point. Oh, we're just overrunning some divisions now at this point. It's kind of nice. Not going to lie. Kind of nice. Well. Okay, approaching Stalingrad. Leningrad is already ours. I'm out. You're out. I I'm not going to deal with you. Seriously. You, you, you refuse to come into the war? <sighs> hmm. They joined the Chinese United Front. 
I'm still going to kill them off later, though. So, whatever. Did you know that China is rightful German clay? The history books, I don't think it would ever teach you that. But it's a, it's a, it's a factual thing. It's a, factual, a super factual thing. Totally factual. Just don't look it up. Don't question me. It totally historically um, there. We'll put it like that. Yeah. 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 Destroy us. Oh, yeah, we need five naval XP for that, which sucks. Whatever. Um, oh. I wonder why you weren't going over there. That makes sense. We some new dockyards. Eagles from the ashes. Yeah, we could kill these guys off. Oh, 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 we need super heavy battleship hulls, huh? Okay, Luftwaffe then. We must continue to work on the expansion of our air force. We have, to, we have seen its value and importance during the Civil War. We have to decide whether we want to focus on supporting our front lines or if we want to focus on cross-national strategic bombardments. That's a good idea. Focusing on stuff like that. Yeah, 70 days left. About a focus left. That's not bad. You guys are doing a great job. The Soviet Union is just... They're not ready. When the French went to war and they allied with these guys, they were just not ready for any sort of conflict. As someone did say in the comments from yesterday. Uh, I don't even use you guys, so... And you guys, maintenance would probably be best. Could use a little bit more fuel. And oh, we can actually use some more motorized, too. There you go. It's looking a little better. There's only 8,800 needed. And now less than maybe 8,800 if we get to the next day, and... Yes, 87. Not bad. Modern Blitzkrieg, we're almost done with the land auction, which will be great. It's just a little laggy, that's all. Because the amount of soldiers we're killing. We've killed 3.7 million. We've lost over 1 million soldiers in total so far, so that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, look at this. Now the soldiers are like, oh boy. Not good. The more supply companies we get out, the better it'll be. Support Supply companies? Support companies. Well, one of the tanks has arrived. That's kind of nice. Oh, the French are there. How are the Japanese doing? The Raj is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do Luftwaffe. Very good. After that one. Ooh, we got Metal Blitzkrieg done. Nice. The Land Doctrine's done. Let's keep doing... Let's do Air Doctrine since we have so much XP. I usually choose a left one here. We'll choose the right one because we can. Fighter Ace Initiative. Ooh, Dockyards. There you go. Just in case. Alright, so... Carriers are nice. Yeah, let's expand how many carriers we have at the same time. And cruiser hulls. I don't want to make garbage. I really don't. But I'll have to suffice for now because we just don't have enough, you know, docks. Oh, Stalingrad's capital. Moscow's been taken over. That's nice. Anything else? Five million lost. Okay, nah, I can't go to the closed economy. Anything down here? Region-wide integration is usually pretty awesome to do. This stuff, we lose some war support, but at the same time we can do this stuff too, so. Keep building, everyone. Keep building. And I'll have to grab some of this too. Why not? This stuff is pretty useful. Loads of refineries. We're going to turn Germany into an oil capital. The oil capital of Europe, really. And the rubber capital, too. Alright, keep going, guys. we got a long way to go. Oh, you guys are done, huh? No, you ain't. Baku time. Heck, I might just go to war with uh, these guys, too. Oh, we can't. Oh, they haven't degenerated any world tension, and we're still a democracy. God dang it. Urgh. Why do you must spoil my fun democracies? Why? I, I can't imagine them holding on for too much longer. They've only at max at 110 divisions. Wow. They got one to three fighters, uh, maybe a few trucks, a few armored cars. Wow. Five to seven million manpower. That's not a lot. That really is just not a lot. After Luftwaffe, I think I did say it before. I think I do want to go to the left side. Maybe mobilize fighters. It's just so much better. Yeah, we got to go mobile fighters. 70 days. Not bad. We need small and agile planes that can dodge enemy fire and uh, those British Malaysian, Malaysians and give our bombers enough room to breathe to carry out their missions. Not bad. Um, I guess we're the leader of the faction. That's, uh, that makes a lot more sense. Cool. We're closing in on Stalingrad. Any other upgrades? No? Uh, Von Klug? Meh. And no. We're really trying to race to the Urals, aren't we? 
Oh, there you go. That's why. I thought I did something like that, but maybe not. But eh, I'm glad I looked at that. Wow. This guy's just kind of hanging out here, huh? Given enough time, Stalingrad will be completely cut off from all these other places. Oh, these guys have been cut off. That's nice. Cut them off, and then someone's going to attack landing craft. Would be nice. Let's do some firefighting drills for the Japanese ships. Uh, I might just go to War with China too. Up, oh, Stalingrad's been cut off. It's actually no. We already took Stalingrad. Where's the capital now? Is it Baku? No. Is it Gorky? Glinka? Is it? Don't tell me it's a lot of a stock. It is a lot of a stock, which means we got quite a ways to go. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, we got Luftwaffe, not bad. We got Extraction, we got some mobile fighters, not bad. Let's see, I'm gonna say we probably want even more fuel, so let's do this one, because the one on the far right side here, the fuel refining takes way longer, so that's probably better to do. And maybe we'll nuke Japan in the end. As develop the Ems oil fields. Malaysian Extraction, I mean, I don't really need that right now. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Just because it gives us naval XP. Nice. And I'll deal with that off screen once with this, the war's done with these guys. Hey, look at that. That's beautiful. Now we definitely need these light tanks so that we can more quickly move into Russian territory. Oh, yeah, and these guys are still fighting over here. I don't really care. They haven't naval invaded us either, so. Not bad, not bad. Baku so secured. We sh uh, I guess it technically went all to the poles. Wow, this is a big old Lith Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, I would say. Even though we do gotta divide things up. Logistics two, not bad, not bad. Let's go logistics three. That's even better. They annexed Tanu Tuva. Don't tell me they gave him more victory points. Well, you know what? I want to address a few things off screen real quick. Well, everyone, my apologies about that, but. I went off screen just to fix up some of the naval stuff. I've already spent all the naval XP we had, so it is what it is. I did nothing with the Russian war. I'm not even even really paying attention to it anymore. I mean, there's 47 divisions left, max. We've cut off 1.43 million. I mean, for us, it was just let it go. But happy 1942, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Uh, once the Russians are dead, like I did say, I'm going to give Poland some territory. I'll take back some of the territory to make the borders look a little nicer. We'll actually probably go to war with China just because... Well, because we can for the most part. And then take out Japan in the next episode, so. Actually, we can have a probably two-front war with the Chinese. Uh, condemns the IMRO. All right, what? Well, whatever. And then uh, the Finns are the Chinese faction, too, because they refuse to do jack squat, which really I did not like, but it is what it is. And which, yeah, not too bad for us. Oh, just in time. Let's do it again. And maybe we'll buy some more fuel, because fuel can be pretty good as well. Iran? Why not? We like Iran here. Uh, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. There you go. Buy way more fuel. We're making way more refineries for now, so that should actually help us out quite a bit. Uh, let's keep doing Japan and these folks down here. These fine, fine folks. Let's go do some more passive defense because we can. As we are slowly, slowly capitulating the Soviet Onion. 47 divisions left. Not bad at all. And just a matter of time before we can do anything else. Oh, you guys. Just head on over here. Actually, go for the BPs. Um, there's one right there. And go down there. There you go. That might be enough. That might not be enough. We have cruisers that need to be addressed. Oh, we're sinking quite, quite a few convoys. I like this. I like this a lot. No more naval XP, but that's alright. No more upgrades, too. That's okay. Two carriers, four battleships, four heavy cruisers, and a plethora of screens. Love it. It just, the soldiers aren't moving as fast as they could, because sometimes they just stop, because there's not enough supply. So... Well, let's take a look at the stockpile and such. NKVD divisions. They have 2 million map. Wow, that's really bad. They have 2 million manpower left. They have well, 47 divisions down. Stockpile a few more armored guns. They actually have a few more guns. Look at that. They got 6,000 more, 7,000 more guns. Not bad. Good for you guys. A little bit more trucks. We got trucks, guns, a few tanks here and there. So actually, by going this far back, they're actually doing a little bit slightly better in terms of stockpile. Obviously, it's not going to be enough to help them out, but and that's okay. That is definitely okay. I can't imagine the Japanese will last for too much, for too long, especially if they're fighting America. It just depends on the naval battle. They're still trying to invade China, which doesn't look like it's going great. So, yeah. And they're 97% of the way there. Not bad. 
Especially when they're trying to just take all them BPs. Oh, Kazakhstan, or whatever stand this is. Come to that little dot. Oh. Okay, hungry? I mean, you do you, hungry. The Hungarian Federal Republic. They protect, well, um, okay. I, I'm not opposed to that. I mean, you already have Slovakia, so. All right, whatever. Let's grab some of this, too. So, that'd be kind of nice. And we do end up at peace. Uh, actually, hmm. Should I puppet France? Or should I puppet these guys? Maybe not. Let's see what happens. Fuel refining is nice, of course, which is pretty good. Let's grab some more fuel down here, too. That'd be kind of nice. And it's still shippies. Yes, they are. Yeah, I don't know. With this... Well, of course, Eagle from the Ashes, which would be nice. Pursuit of the European Dream. There's recommend... I mean, at this point, there's support for both sides. I think I really do want to do the Natural Boards of Germany for this campaign, since we did, you know, the Kaiserreich. We revived it. We had a good time with them. So, it is what it is. And obviously, the next episode will probably be the last, since we'll take out Japan and China, like I said before. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, are, are they not done yet? It's now March. Come on, Stalin, give up. I guess I could have earlier, like in the campaign, set up a collaborationist government so that it makes it easier for us to capitulate them, but whatever. Uh, begin heavy water production. Oh! And... A little bit of lag. There they go, my friends. And I think we'll just end it here, and I will go ahead and... I don't know. Maybe I'll take it over. Maybe I won't take it over. Let me know in the comments below. Should I puppet the French, Spanish, Italians, and the Soviets? Let me know in the comments below. I'm still going to give them a lot of... The Poles a lot of... The Balkan territory... Balkans? The Baltic territory. In exchange for some of this territory. But regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will finish this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, incredible rest of your day.